The biggest mistakes I see young designers make are really small mistakes and they can be easily fixable. So in this video, I'm going to give you five different tips which are going to help you spice up your UI designs. Hey designer, Alex here, welcome to the channel and before we get started with today's video, make sure to check out my membership, link is going to be down in the description below. Membership includes all of my courses, digital design products, private access to the Facebook group, practice files for my YouTube videos and so much more. So if you're interested in content like that, make sure to check it out once again, link is going to be down in the description below. All right, so the tip number one is add gradient for contrast. As you can see right here, we have this white uh, text on top of this really light image and you cannot really read it all that well. So what can you do is quite simple. You can simply add a gradient to the background, lower it down in opacity just enough so that you can see the image really clearly. You can see what it represents and what it does. And of course, at the end, uh, you can also see the text, which is white in this case. Of course, you can fix this by changing it it, but you cannot fix it once it goes live for every single image because that's just not going to be possible. In some cases you're going to have thousands of these different images and cards. So once you set up everything in code, that's why you're going to use gradients for better readability. Tip number two is make paragraphs readable. Majority of young designers make this mistake and it's super simple to fix. Just make your paragraphs more readable. Like you see in this case here, you can clearly read the text, but just think about it this way. If you're reading this same text on a huge device, it's going to be really simple. But if you're reading it on really small, tiny screen, phone screen, for example, from many years ago, then it's going to be almost impossible. You have to think about all of your users, especially when you're doing your user research, you can find out who are your users, what devices they're using. And that way you can use uh, these design techniques in order to improve readability of the text in this case. But in any case, make sure to use darker paragraphs like in this case. So you're going to be safe no matter which type of device they are using. Tip number three is pick image colors for contrast. As you can see in this uh, left example, we are just using super light gray color and yes, it makes the sofa stand out. But if you pick the, ima uh, the image color from the sofa itself and then change it a little bit, maybe make a different shade of it, it's going to make the sofa stand out even more. And just imagine these images in a grid of six or eight or 12 or whatever on your website, it's going to make each product pop. It's going to make your users stay there for longer read for longer and watch these images for longer before they decide what they are actually going to do. So make sure to grab their attention by using these simple color techniques, like adding the background image color for contrast is going to really make your product pop and stand out as it is in this case. Tip number four is avoid all caps for headlines. As you can see in this case, yes, you can read it, but it's taking up too much space and it's just like it's screaming to the viewer, read at me, look at me, look at, at this way. Don't do this. You can do it like this. So you're still using bold text. You can still read it quite easily, but it's not screaming. It's not shouting. It looks elegant and it's, it looks readable, much more readable than in this left case. Of course, all caps can be used for example, in cases of these categories or tags or something like that, where you have smaller amount of text, but don't ever use it, especially on website, especially on big screens in your main headlines H1 in this case, just use it normally, just use the bold text to accentuate it a little bit to make it stand out a little bit, but don't for whatever reason, use all caps in your headlines. And finally, tip number five is give your designs the right voice. You can see the same design left and right, but this right one just gives it a better voice. It just gives it, it just makes it stand out a little bit more. It just makes it fit a little bit more just because of the fonts you were using. So you can see in this case, you can still read it. You can still uh, learn more about what this illustration represents, but it's just not fit. It's just not suit. So make sure to explore in your niche, in your category, whatever you're doing, which fonts work best with illustrations, with icons, with imagery to make the topic stand out, to make the topic more readable and to make it understandable and relatable to your users. In this case, this left one really doesn't fit well with this startup technology company and with these colors, while this right one is really all 
uh, incorporating into this illustration and it really makes it stand out and it really makes it readable and pleasant to look at. Thank you for watching this video. I really hope you found value in it. If you did, make sure to press that like button and to subscribe to the channel. I upload videos every single week about Adobe XD, design, passive income techniques and much more. So if you're interested in topics like those, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.